Okay, let's get a good message for today for people. Something to consider. Let's look and see what we have. What is the universe going to say today? Give these a good ruffle shuffle. Okay. At the center we have koi fish. There is always enough. There's always enough. And let's see what we have with that. So what about there is always enough? Okay, going into it, justice and for people. Okay, there is always enough justice for people. Now people may be debating that now, but um, you know, we have free will, and we've come down during this time to go through the drama we're going through now, okay, basically. And there is karma, okay? So while you think you don't see justice now, there is justice in the end. Again, when you leave the physicality of form, there is the life review and everything, you see everything from not only the actions and the mentality that you had when you had done all the actions, but you also have to view it and you have to feel it from the other person's viewpoint. So those that are out there creating these heinous things, what you perpetrated on another, you yourself will feel you yourself will have to encounter. So those that are, you know, creating these heinous deeds and creating so much suffering for people here now, uh, they're going to have to feel the um, actions and the uh, reality for other people of their actions. So if they are someone that is filled with hate and kills an innocent, when they leave, they're going to have to feel the fear of the innocent. They're going to have to be uh, confronted with their hate and how it affects others. Uh, so there is justice. There's always enough justice in the end. Again, you may debate it and say, well, I, would, I don't feel like we're having justice now. Well, justice is coming. It is coming and it is always enough in the end. If you are a real genuine spiritual teacher, then you would know karma and you would absolutely uh, do whatever you can to live a, a good life of morality, integrity, etc. Okay. Those like Trump and, you know, we see what's going on with Jordan and those ones now that all they have in their face is just for power, for control, for dominance. They are going to see how they have affected others. They're going to have to relive it from the other person's viewpoint. Okay and they get away with nothing in the end. Um, so that's what it's saying today. There's always enough. There's always enough when it comes to justice in the end for humanity. Again, if you are, another thing I'm seeing here as well, if you are in an abusive relationship, okay, and you have been tortured by that person, when they leave the physical form, they will feel every fear, every hurt, every single thing they have done to another, they will have to experience it a full stop. Um, 
and they get out of nothing, okay? So choose your life carefully. Again, uh, the first things I tell my students to live with honesty, integrity, transparency, spirituality, those are the most important things, okay? Honesty, integrity, transparency, spirituality, okay? Live a spiritual life. And always, if you're, if you're not lying, there's nothing to come back on you. If you're honest, you know, it's the liars that have to remember story after story after story. And how do they know people are lying? Because their story changes and changes and changes. They keep trying to find a new way to weave it. Well, when you're telling the truth, there's nothing to remember, to, to modify, to it is what it is. And if you're living a life of integrity, honesty and integrity, and you're open, there's nothing to come back on you later. Whereas if you are driven by power, greed, all this other drama, you will continually have something at your back. Um, always feel empty. Always feel um, that it's never enough. It's like what she said about Trump. Always a lot, but never enough. Okay. They're driven by lack. They're driven by fear, they're driven by greed, they're driven by these things. And if you are settled within yourself, then you know, you're, you're grounded and you're not looking for, you don't need to have some big, you know, uh, a Ferrari or something. You don't need to have a palace. You don't need to have the biggest designer clothes to, to show your self-worth. Okay, if you have self-worth in yourself, you are settled and you are balanced and you are basically, you know, a, a grounded person that is happy with life. Even when you're having the difficult times, you know that that's part of life and part of our learning process. Okay. So on that note, I'll leave that here and we'll see you online.